Hello there guys, it's me Unstable Voltage. Welcome to episode 5 of Civilization 5. We're playing as career and trying to get a win on Emperor difficulty. Uh, I, would, I need to build my national college, but this um, the library here in Jeonju is taking absolutely ages, mainly because we don't have a huge amount of production here. Um, we are going to grow in four turns though, so I think I will allow the city to grow before I move someone onto a production tile, but we certainly do need to try and improve production there as soon as we can uh, just to get that library built and up and running um, by the time we can build our national college we'll have our last social policy we'll be able to finish off tradition and we'll be able to get aristocracy so we'll be able to build the um, is it aristocracy uh, aristocracy yes so we'll be able to build the national college 15% uh, faster which will be very very nice see it's a really good job that I actually built Zhenzhou there because making that as a um, Canal City actually allows the cargo ship to run from Seoul to Zurich. If that um, city wasn't there, then that trade route wouldn't be able to take the shortcut and it probably wouldn't be able to reach. So I am actually quite glad that I did build that in exactly the position that I did. So I have paid um, the Incas to go to war with France. They should be fighting each other. I'm still making some bank because I'm working Serotid uh, Potassi. It isn't helping this city grow very much, but um, I needed to try and slow the Incas down because they do seem to be getting a fair few wonders in their capital. If uh, France can soften them up a little bit, I'll be quite happy to go in there later on and finish the job. Let's grab construction so we can get some Colosseums. We're okay for happiness at the moment, but uh, that won't last forever. It never does in higher levels of Civ 5, so we do need to be very aware of that. We can still get another trade route, which is probably something that I will queue up. What are we working on at the moment? We're working on that water mill. Three turns left on that. Zhenzhou has grown, which is really nice. And you're actually working that tile there, which is not terrible. It does have one hammer. It's taken the library down from 35, 36 turns down to 22, which could be good. Uh, we could potentially lose one food and get that down to 16 turns. That does mean this city will grow very, very slowly, but it means we'll get that library much, much quicker, which I'm more inclined to do. Uh, and I do need to get some workers building some roads at some point. There's a lot of improvements that we need, but I want to concentrate on getting these cities connected up. Enemy has been spotted near Seoul. I didn't see him. Not too sure where that was. Oh, yep, there we go. Uh, we've got a barbarian hand axe down there. Let's go and move our archer out into a position to deal with him. Um, you guys, I think... Have you not finished yet? Still got eight turns to go. That's quite some amount of time there. You guys just sit there in case those hand axes come back. Uh, you have finished that. So what I want to do with you... Where's our border going to expand next? In two turns until border growth. And then we'll be able to grab the horses. I think what we'll do in the meantime is we'll come down here and we'll actually grab a mine on this hill. It'll give us a little bit more production here. Then we can go and get the horses. Making a decent amount of money. We may have to actually, because we've got Serid um, Potosi, and we do have that extra money, although, of course, I have spent some of it to get uh, the Incas fighting the French. Uh, we might have to spend some of that extra money to actually build the... Um, uh, to, to get some buildings. It looks like we've lost our farm down there. Wow. Um, well, that wasn't a horseman a moment ago. Now, I've got to really be careful here because they could come and take my, um... Yeah, they could come and take my worker. They've got enough movement to do it, I think. One, two, three, four. Yeah, they could grab my worker, although they wouldn't be able to move away, which would put them in bar bombardment range of the city and my archer. Um, you just keep working on that plantation. If they come and grab you, we'll retake them with the archer afterwards, so it's not too much of a problem. It's really annoying, though. Now means we've got to go over there and uh, repair that farm. And they're just going around and pillaging loads of stuff now, which is really, really annoying. Uh, let's go ahead and put these guys on the hill. They don't get to fire this turn, but it does give them zone of control. Um, we've finished our water mill. Let's go ahead and build ourselves... Do we want the second cargo ship or do we want to really go for something like a temple or something like that? Could try and get the Hanging Gardens. I really would love to get the Hanging Gardens. Let's try and get the Hanging Gardens if we can. Uh, we also need to choose our productions over here in Busan. I think Lighthouse isn't a bad idea because we do have a sea tile. Uh, you are going to work a mine there and then we'll go over and get the horses. 
Of course, they will have to clear a forest, which will give us a little bit more production. It'll speed that lighthouse along. And what have we got? These workers. These workers are very, very nervous. There's a lot of stuff that I'd like you guys to do. You're going to have to do some repairs soon, but I'd prefer it if you just tried to carry on with this. Now, they haven't really got anything else that they can pillage, so they're either going to have to move away or move closer. And if they move closer, I can hit them. Looks like they're actually attacking my archers. Now, unfortunately, I can't get my archers back into the city to attack with there for the extra attack power. But I should be able to do a decent amount of damage from up here on the hill. That might be enough to finish them off. Wasn't quite, uh, but we should be able to get them. We do need to try and find out the camp where they came from, uh, just to so our workers can safely repair everything over here. Um, this worker, once again, is very nervous. Just, just finish the plantation. We need stuff to trade. Nobody wants horses or iron, unfortunately. Actually, in fact, I don't actually think I have the iron, but nobody wants the horses right now. You've decided to come and stand right next to my city. That was very, very stupid of you. I'm actually going to try and finish them off with the uh, city itself, just so that I can get my archers to heal. Uh, we'll take accuracy too, and we'll let you heal up. Annoying, annoying barbarians. Uh, unit needs orders. Yep, they've gone now. Just carry on with the plantation. You're nearly there. You'd have finished it four turns ago if you, if you didn't keep stopping. So, two turns until um, Seol grows. 20 turns until we get the, um, not there's construction, 20 turns until we get the Hanging Gardens, assuming we do. It's just gone down to 17, of course, because we've, we've grown in size. So that's down from 20 turns to 17 turns. Uh, we've gone on to this tile, which is not a terrible tile. Um, so, yeah, let's stay, let's stay on that tile for the extra production. So that's down to 17 turns. Uh, we can now adopt our policy. We can finish off tradition. So that gives us that extra 15% um, build speed on wonders. Uh, so now it's down to 15 turns. So that's just literally not a quarter of its build time off, which is really nice. Uh, let's go ahead and grab currency. Uh, we do have some desert tiles, and we... We are planning um, to start another city down here at some point. We might even be able to grab Petra. Not too sure whether or not that is going to work. But Petra is really, really good because it makes desert tiles stop being crap. So if we can get uh, a, a city down there with Petra, although we probably need a great engineer to rush it. You're still working on that plantation. Um, two turns to complete, so can't do an awful lot there. And then I did want to actually get them working on roads, but they're going to have to come down here and, and repair these. Hanging gardens completed by Napoleon. Well, I should have guessed. You should never try and... Um, let's just finish that off. You should never try and beat the AI to wonders in this game. It is a complete and utter waste of time most of the time. Um, let us go ahead and... What are we working on? I thought we were working on another cargo ship somewhere. No, apparently not. Let's go and get that next cargo ship then. Before we get anything else. And uh, now we have a spare cocoa. So what we could do is we could go over to France. And we could offer a trade between the two. And that's brilliant. So that gives us a little bit of extra happiness. And it's always worth having extra happiness, remember. Because the more happiness you have, the more quickly you reach a golden age. We are in a golden age at the moment. We don't have a lot of faith. I have a couple of temples... Well, I have a couple of shrines. We really should think about building temples and stuff like that. Let's go down there and fix those. Not too sure what happened to that hand axe. And still don't rightly know where that barbarian camp is. But we'll do our best to find it. Patrakuti has made peace with Napoleon, which is a real shame. Should means I should get my money back now, though. If he's actually ended the war, then I should have to stop paying him. He is friendly with me. Yep, still don't know where that barbarian camp is. Let's go on to the next turn. They obviously didn't have much of a fight. Not sure if either of them made any gains, so... Unit needs orders. Okay, where is that barbarian camp? It's probably going to be this side now, isn't it? And they're going to come out of nowhere and grab my workers. Although that horseman definitely looked like it came from over here. And this is where the barbarian camp does seem to have a habit. Yep, there it is. We need to go and upgrade this archer at some point as well to a composite bowman. So we'll wait until we've finished off these guys because they're only hand axes. They can't reach us from there and they won't come out of the uh, 
They won't come out of the encampment either, so we should be fine. And then, what do you know? Some random horsemen appear. So, let's move... Um, let's just move back into our own territory. We'll probably upgrade them on the next turn. We should have enough money to do it. Sometimes these camps just spawn units really, really quickly. There they are. Um, I'm going to upgrade. I'm going to get these guys to, uh, to back off. Uh, on to the next turn. Kept our expansion promise. Good stuff. Still don't have a spy yet. I think the espionage button actually appears up here when you need it. Right, that hurt a little bit. How much damage can I do to you now that I'm a composite bowman? Quite a bit. What I'm actually going to do is uh, move back one tile and then I'm going to uh, attack you from here. What they're probably going to do, annoyingly, is go and pillage these flipping horses again. Um, just keep you guys out of the way. We've finished the lighthouse over here in Basan. Uh, what's probably the next best thing to get over here? Let us go ahead and grab a temple because I would like to actually get a religion. I'm not sure that we're going to manage it, but I'd like to try. Uh, we've done the cargo ship as well. Let's try and grab a temple here. We definitely need to start thinking about getting some more military units now. Uh, what is our next best trade route that we could grab it's busan to zurich so let's go ahead and do that we are going to move you to busan go on to the next turn our golden age has ended as well yeah and they've gone ahead and pillaged that which is exactly what i thought they were going to do really really annoying so it's just wasting my time that my workers have to keep going back and just repairing the same upgrades over and over again. Um, we'll leave them for now. Do you know what? You guys, you can come and get started on the roads. Because we're just we're just going to be waiting forever otherwise. Uh, so off you go to Zurich. I don't think I'm going to get those horses connected up straight away. I think once we've done this mine, I think I'm actually going to start working on the roads with those guys. And uh, Once we've then got our library, which we're three turns away from, we'll build our national college. And then I think we'll, um, we'll start thinking about uh, building our fourth city. And that'll help stop the barbarians from spawning over here because they are a pain in the arse. So you guys should be able to finish that off. Wow, really? One hit point. Fantastic. Um, he shouldn't be able to kill me because he's only got one hit point. So, you know, he should be uh, really, really weak. But that is just so annoying. We'll clear that camp out again, uh, though. Um, right, he's trying to go around the long way. It's not going to save him. I can still hit him there. We've discovered currency. Uh, what would we like to research next? That is actually a good question. Um, I guess we could go horseback riding into civil service. We would have to pick drama and poetry up along the way. Uh, but it wouldn't be a bad idea because it would mean that we can get... Um, we'll enter a new era, which means we'll get a bit of a science boost. And... Um, We'll be able to get open borders if we need them. Uh, is it actually a science boost from entering a new era? I can never remember. Uh, what is it? Uh, receive a tech boost every time... Oh, it's every time a scientific building or wonder is built in the Korean capital, which is, you know, difficult enough as it is, but uh, that'll be fine. You, I would like you to build a road to there. So it's only three tiles. It shouldn't take you too long. Uh, you guys move down to there, and you are going to build a road to there. And then we'll get all the stuff connected up and we need more workers and we need a bigger army. And we need more buildings and so much stuff we need. But we're doing okay. Things aren't going too badly. I mean, they're not going great, but they're not going too badly. Uh, we finished that library, finally. Um, let's go ahead and... Um, we could certainly do with the work boat here. It wouldn't be a bad idea. Um, let's go ahead and build the shrine. And we will purchase a workboat. We've certainly got the money. 
So the work boat can go and work this tile. Now, what tiles are you actually working? Because your production is absolutely shockingly bad. Working that food, I agree with. Instead of working one food and one hammer, you might as well work two food and one hammer. Um, and yeah, that's pretty much it. Three turns until you grow, though, so then we can put somebody else in. So that's fine. Uh, you're just going to heal up. I do really want to try and take out that barbarian camp before it spawns more units, but there's no point only going into it with um, half health. Because if they spawn another horseman right in front of me, uh, that is going to be a bad time for everybody. So we should be able to finish that uh, hand axe uh, quite easily. There's the work boat. You can go in there and create fishing boats. So that should actually give us a better tile to work now. The question is, do I want to lose one hammer to gain one extra food? It's not going to increase the speed at which we grow. So we'll keep you working that for now, though. We do need to get more in um, these things here. It looks like we're going to be uh, expanding out towards the marble soon. Or oh, we've got the marble. That's quite nice. Why does that one blue? What are the blue tiles for? Is blue tile... No, it can't be, can be upgraded because these can be upgraded. What do the blue tiles mean? Oh, blue tiles are shared. Any tile that's dark blue uh, is within range of another city. So it doesn't mean it's being worked by another city. It just means that it's, it, it's within range of uh, two or more cities. There we go. I knew there was a reason why it was blue, and I just couldn't remember. Uh, that was the cargo ship that was going to Zurich previously. We'll keep that going. It is good money. It's a shame that France and the Incas didn't do a little bit more damage to each other. That was quite a disappointing uh, war, actually. I was expecting uh, a little bit more out of it than that. Um... Cusco's going to be quite difficult to reach. We've got a lot of uh, marsh down on this side. We've got the mountain here and more marsh. There's a river to cross. There's a mountain. He's actually nestled away in quite a good spot there. He's going to be difficult to get to. And of course we can't even attack him from the coast because he's not coastal. And unless we had a battleship with a range of three, and even then we'd only be able to hit him with one of them. So he's in a good spot there. Uh, let's go ahead and see if we can finish this camp off before it spawns anything else. Now the question is, do I want to stop work on this temple to begin work on my National College? I'm a little bit behind with the National College, probably should already have it by now. What many people tend to do is um, build libraries in their first two cities, save up their gold, so that when they found their third city, they can just buy the library outright, which I didn't do. And it did take an awful long time for the library to build in Jeju. So I am a little bit behind, but at the same time, I think as Korea we can catch up, so... That's not too bad. Um, we did grow over here now, so we've gone up in size again. Let's avoid working that and just go for the food. We'll just grow up quickly as we can. 17 turns for the shrine. It's still a long time, but we should be okay. So please don't spawn any new barbarian units. Because that is much annoying. Oh, you absolute goit. Um, okay, so we're not doing too bad on sciences. And we're both composite bowmen as well, which is pretty annoying. So I might have to back out and, and heal and come back in again. We'll, we'll see what happens. They may not take a shot. They don't always for some reason, which is weird because they don't have to heal up. And yeah, they didn't take a shot. I mean, why not? They'd have, they'd have lost absolutely nothing by shooting at me. It's not like they heal and it's not like they had to move. So they didn't save anything by doing that. Never understand sometimes the way the AI works. Sometimes it can be baited into doing really stupid things that's bad for its health. And then there's other times where it will just not do something that makes sense. It's like there, I mean, it's fortified, but I mean, even fortified, I can still kill it. And it's not going to heal because barbarians don't heal. So it's just completely random. Uh, okay, we finished that temple. Let's go ahead now and work on our national college then. We're also going to need to get things like the uh, Writer's Guild and so on and so forth. Start getting some great person points coming in. Uh, still, a, There's still two religions that can be founded. So there's still a possibility that we could grab a religion, although it's looking less and less likely. Uh, Napoleon has completed the Great War. Finally, we can get rid of that barbarian camp. And once again, that is exactly the same spot that it was on originally. Like I said, they do like to respawn on the same spots. 
Now we've got to come back down here and repair all of these tiles because these barbarians are really annoying. We might get ourselves a third worker, especially if we are going to grab ourselves a fourth city. Seems like it makes a lot of sense. We don't have an awful lot of happiness at the moment though. So what we want to do is try and grab that cotton as soon as possible. When are we going to spread to that cotton? That's not even the next tile we're grabbing. Why are we grabbing this tile and not the cotton? The cotton is going to be a much better tile to get. Just just random. Um, somewhere grew. Was it Zhengzhou? No, you haven't grown yet. You haven't grown yet. Okay, not sure where it was. Maybe just our border expansion. Yeah, so you've just expanded out to there. Well, border expansion's fine. But it doesn't help us an awful lot right now. So just concentrate on building up these cities. Not making a huge amount of money right now either. Another barbarian encampment. Hopefully that's one... Yeah, not too close to us. I don't have to worry about that. Although, we could send a unit down there and deal with that. And that might give us some um, rep with Colombo. So, let's go have a look at that. Um, also, what's quite nice is Zurich, who is no longer allied with us. They desire horses. So, once we can repair these horses, or um, build on these horses, uh, we'll get some more... Um, Influence with them, which would be really nice. So sometimes it's nice when something you have ends up getting pillaged, because it just gives you the opportunity to get it again, which can help. So we've discovered horseback riding. Uh, we need to choose our production in Basan. We've just finished the temple. Uh, let's go ahead and grab ourselves a Colosseum here, because we're not doing too well for happiness at the moment. Uh, let's start working our way over here. We will annoy them a little bit by cutting through their territory, but we're only going to... Actually, we don't need to. Well, we do need to cut through, but we won't stop in it, so we shouldn't actually get a penalty for doing that. Hopefully, Busan's going to be safe from barbarians. I don't think there's many around, because there's fairly good vision there. So, we can actually move around like that, and we can go and see what we've got. Uh, Zhenzhou has now grown... Not sure what... Oh, it's in population. So what are we going to work now? You're working that tile. Which, again, is a, is a good tile. 16 turns until growth, and it's giving you a bit of production. There are definitely better tiles that we could be working, but I think we need to improve them first. Can't do anything with you, so let's end the turn. So we're, we're down to one happiness now. It's going to be 1,088 turns before we hit our next golden age. Oh, looks like they've actually cleared the uh, Barbarian camps out all on their own, but we have met Kaisel. I wonder if anyone's actually been down here, because we are apparently the first civilization to meet Kaisel, which is quite interesting. Uh, let's get you guys back over here. Now, there is a limit to how often a Barbarian camp can respawn. They don't respawn every turn. The higher the difficulty level you play on, the more quickly they can show up, so... That is definitely something that affects it. We've now got a city connection from Jeonju. We should have one for Busan within a turn or two. So you guys drag yourself all the way back down here. I know it's going to take a while, but go and connect those horses up once more. It's going to be slow going moving down here because of all the marshes. But we can have a look and see what, what's down here. Probably nothing interesting, but I'm going to have a look anyway. Certainly seems like Kaisel have a lot of units. Uh, where are Kaisel? And you're you're a um, you're a cultured city as well. You're a cultured city, but you've got a big army. Uh, you can get back in there if you can manage such a thing. Hopefully, barbarians will leave us alone for a few turns. I'm almost tempted. In fact, I I'm more than almost tempted. I'm going to do it. I'm actually going to send these archers down to that little bit of desert on the um, southwest corner. Because I just have a feeling there might end up being another camp spawning down there. And I just want to make sure that doesn't happen. So there's another useless tile that doesn't really help us. Let's move on to the hill. Yeah, they're kind of down there on a little peninsula. So I uh, don't think there's going to be anything down there that we need to worry about. Um, you are going to repair those horses. Shouldn't take too long. 
And that should give us some more influence with uh, Zurich. Because they actually want horses. So if we could get gold, furs, or ivory. Nobody has anything they're willing to trade with us right now. Which is a little bit of a shame. What did I tell you? Knew the beer camp down there. Potentially worrying for my um, worker. Uh, shrine has been finished in Jeonju. We should probably grab a... Lighthouse wouldn't be a bad idea. Oh, I don't know. We're going to have bananas. We're going to have... No, we don't have deer. Yeah, let's grab the lighthouse. We'll get a bit more from the um, from the sea tile. And you can start working your way back. Now, I don't know whether or not those uh, barbarian horsemen are going to come out and come after the worker. They don't normally like to leave their camp unattended. So there's every possibility that they will just uh, sit in there and not move. Even though they are... Well, they would have to cross hills, so they wouldn't be able to get to me anyway. That's fine. We've connected both of our cities up now. Let's go ahead and um, take out these horsemen as quickly as we can. I'm very glad now that I did actually have a look down there. Because though that those horsemen would have very easily been able to have come and taken these workers out. And I wouldn't have uh, wouldn't have spotted it. So I'm, dig I'm glad that we saw that. Um, I think we'll go ahead and build a pasture here. We'll get a little bit more production. Uh, because if we mouse over... Um, when it eventually comes up and gives us the uh, the correct tool tip. So stable gives us plus one uh, production if we build the stable. Stable's orange because it's a building. So if we build a stable, it'll give us plus one production. Uh, we're also building a pasture on it. That pasture will give us plus one production. And then if we research fertilizer, we'll get plus one food from the pasture as well. One more turn, ladies and gentlemen. We are just going to do one more turn, see what happens, and then we will end the video there. So you guys are hopefully going to finish repairing that improvement. That wasn't the turn, by the way. That was just me not having um, issued orders to the workers because they stopped when they saw the uh, saw the barbarians. And uh, just fire at these guys again. Probably not an awful lot that we're going to be able to do on this turn, to be honest. It's mainly going to be trying to move this guy back with Columbo Spearman in the way. And that is all we can do. Well, this video has gone on for well over 25 minutes now, so I'm going to end it there. So thanks a lot for watching, guys. I hope you are still enjoying Civilization V, and I will see you on the next video. Until then, goodbye for now.